most chronic pain is about the central nervous system getting involved. Once the central nervous system gets involved, I mean, look, the central nervous system is always involved, but it can start to change in a way that is kind of like turning up the volume um, in the spinal cord in the brain. Now, that's called, when that starts to happen, you are starting to become sensitised. So we have this, this term, central nervous system sensitisation. Now, sensitisation means that a normally not painful stimulus, like, you know, a, a tickle on the skin, can be experienced as quite painful. Central nervous system sensitisation uh, is also accompanied by changes in the immune system. So the immune system is there naturally to protect you. So, so we all have a great, a great um, um, uh, threat management system. Immune system comes in and it says, okay, you're in trouble, I'm gonna get active here, I'm going to protect you. The way it does that in the short term is it sends out you know, cells that, that go into combat mode. They, they eat bacteria and they, you know, they get rid of the invaders, if you like. For example, if you've got a child and, and your child is very, very ill and you understand that this child is not going to get well, in other words, your child is um, you know, indefinitely um, suffering from a disease that nobody can do anything about. In the textbooks, that you're said to be suffering with, a, a, it's very stressful, but it's chronically stressful. It's long-term stressful. So that chronic stress in that, in that sense, and also if you've been in a workers' comp situation and you can't see the end of it, or if you've got some kind, if you've got a parent that's got Alzheimer's and you can't see the end of it, that's called being under chronic stress. So you are chronically stressed. And what we know from the research is that that is really bad for your health. Now, when somebody has a car accident and they're already chronically stressed, you can probably safely say that that person is a good bet for chronic pain. So it's almost like our systems are supercharged, waiting for the next accident to happen. And we've already got processes going on um, physiologically that are, are not helpful in preventing us from, from going into a chronic pain state. So it's really important if, if you're one of those people who are, are living a life which is really stressful, then it's really important that you seek help for how do you cope with that? Is there anything you can do about that long-term stress? Because these are risk factors for chronic pain. The way it works is that you can have a very minor injury um, and in many cases of complex regional pain syndrome, which is an, a very painful chronic pain condition, the injuries are often very, very minor. When you have a sore wrist, it can just be a sore wrist and the pain's going to go away. But if you've sustained that injury in an, in an environment, both at work, at home, where there is some sort of chronically stressful circumstance for you personally, you can get what's called peripheral inflammatory processes occurring within the nerve. So it's like a nervous system, peripheral inflammatory process that starts up. Now, one of the interesting things that's happening in, in the way the current thinking is developing in chronic pain is that we now think that some of the, the cells within the nervous system called glia, G-L-I-A, some of those cells uh, are now thought to actually communicate into the central nervous system that there's something going on in the periphery. Now once that happens, that actually inflames or increases um, central nervous system sensitization. And we believe that it's, it's probably part of the explanation for complex regional pain syndrome.